everybody so people have been asking for audio so i guess i'm gonna play her i know people are also asking for capri but capri really is not that good at all so i kind of don't want to play capri because i already posted that other edited capri video and it's like that should be good enough considering how bad he is um but Ardia is actually pretty good um i wish i could play her better she's not one of my strongest guardians but she definitely has the position like the possibility that's not the right word the opportunity to be one of the better guardians i would say she's on mm, she's on the same tier as mm, let's see maybe athena and if you guys think if you don't if you think think athena she doesn't have an ultimate she's bad you can watch my other athena full gameplays she's actually really good with her passive but ardeo's Ardeos can do some damage. Um, she's pretty good against tanks because of her passive. Main problem is she's mana hungry. So I'm actually going to start into uh, Genji's here. For the MP5. Ooh, the minions are separated. I can't clear wave. Up against Isis, which is, you know, not that good. Because Isis... Uh, A1 demonetizes all videos. <laughs> um, B, she... Uh, can still our protections, which is not good and stun us out of our three in both stances with two of her abilities We can also stun her out of that, but we have to be right next to her, which is never a safe idea mm. I'm kind of thinking of giving up this wave to try and pressure her, but it's probably a bad idea Yeah, okay Oh, I'm really not that great with RDO. I wish I could play her better. It's just a matter of practice, you know? I don't practice very much with her. Other people have asked for Terra, and Terra I actually know how to play. I just don't enjoy her playstyle at all. Like, Terra, I feel like you go in, and then if you don't get anything off it, you lose. You die. I actually do have to back. If I stay, I'm either going to get first blooded. Or I'm not going to be able to secure my blue buff. So I will give this uh, my best go. So I went Mage's Busting to Genji's for the MP5. As well as the early protections. Also I went Aegis for her ultimate and her her 2. Isis 2 is the ball that stuns you by the way. To anyone that doesn't play Isis. I'm trying to get in better of habit of saying. Describing which abilities I'm talking about. But I don't know them by name. Because I know not everybody plays every single god in the game. That's that's only for for like people that like only play this game like like me. <laughs> I suppose there's there's a handful of people that might play every god and still have time for other games, but I don't know. Also, RDS2 is still good in the Druid stance because it lowers her protections. It's mm, probably a bad idea. Yeah, I should have actually aged that. Should have actually aged that because of how much damage she can output. Wow, she does way more than I thought she did. I don't have my two. Wow, I would have been able to stun her out of it. Let's see. Wow, she life stole a lot. She's Bancroft, that's why. Should be able to pressure her though because she's lower mana. If she does not have any mana potions or any MPF5 items, should be able to kill her. Plus, she has no passive. Oh, she's root immune to roots, alright. I uh, might need to dash out of her spirit bomb. I feel the pain. I don't know if she has enough mana for it though. Wow, she's healing so much from Bancrofts. That's actually really unfortunate. Mm, I wanna kill her, but she still has her min her minions. I do get uh, red buff though. There's no way she can stay. Her MP5, what is even is her MP5? 10 MP5. She can use ability every uh, 70 seconds. Yeah, there's no way. There we go. So I didn't get the first blood. I wanted it, but she was healing too much. But since she had no mana, I was able to stay. So already looks like Genji's going first time is a great idea. I should have already leveled up my two. So things I can do with my two is in their stance. I, it's a stun, right? So I can take her out of her wing gusts. 
And in this stance, the Druid stance, it lowers their power by, wow, by quite a bit once it's maxed out. 25% at max rank. That's like an opposite of a power potion. Of a, that's an opposite of a 3k pot. Think of a 3k power potion, except it's a debuff. That's actually really strong. I never even thought about it. Um, I do, so this is actually something I say on stream a lot, but I haven't actually had a game against Isis on YouTube, is that I think Isis is one of the best gods that is not OP to fight Guardians. Because of her three, she can uh, steal protections. Um, she has a lot of control to keep her distance, and her ultimate, she just waits to use her ultimate for when you can't, when you're fully committed, and then she turns fights. It's really difficult to fight. Is Isis has any sort of uh, guardian. Any sort of guardian is very difficult. I should have already got my two. Yep. Kind of like this. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, the control she has is just too much for me. And that's the problem. In terms of non-meta, non-OP gods, Gra uh, Isis is definitely the best counter to Guardians. Um, obviously, OP gods are still better, but I, I've always had a hard time fighting Isis as any Guardian. As Ymir, as Geb, as Ganesh, as any Guardian at all. Thank you. Like, it's still winnable, though, so I'm not going to give up. RDO late game is extremely good as well. She just, uh, you, have, you have to build Polynomicon on RDO if you want to win the game. Otherwise, you're never going to take Phoenix. That's one thing you got to keep in mind. Also, I need to rush Samantha heal. Yeah, I just can't engage her. Really, because, because of that. Doesn't help that she's slow and root immune in her, in that ability. This makes it very difficult. I kind of want to Bancroft myself, but I figure it's kind of late. I don't know. Okay, let's get more cooldowns. Very good on RDO. Vampires and lichens will bleed from me. I really need to get my two. I keep skipping it. Skipping my two is actually hurting me drastically. Your middle tower is under attack. I feel like a Bancroft or a Divine Rune would be great next item. Let's see what she builds into. She builds into defense. Can I get this? Very nice. I got red buff again. Very good. Very, very good. Keeping control of red buff lets you get ahead because uh, you're getting XP from both blue buffs. I'm from the blue buff and red buff. Unless she steals my blue buff again. See how much distance? I want to note that also. The stun on the two is very small, but notice where she is before she stuns me and then after she stuns me. And she can get a lot of distance off of that. Especially if she uses her wing gust as well. Yeah, that just counts as my ability. Ooh, this could be good. Nope, I have no move of speed. I have no move of speed. Wow, okay. Yep, can't do anything. <laughs> can't do anything at all. Um, Shadows yeah, I if that if she was any other god right now, I would stay, root her, use my one switch dance, and just burst her down. But as Isis, she can keep distance so easily. I just will never, never be able to do it. Fight back, oh, this is difficult. Why am I skipping? Did I level up my ultimate? I also, don't level up the ultimate. <laughs> All right, I'm getting my two the second, the second. I kind of wanted my three maxed. I kind of played greedy by not getting my two, but still. Probably was the wrong choice, but whatever. Kind of committed to it. All right, get my two. Part of me felt like, part of me like knew it was bad, like I was saying, but the other part of me felt like if I had my other abilities maxed, I'd be able to combo her fast, like really fast. Oh, she has gem Vysel already? 
She literally rushed it. Yeah, that's gonna destroy me. Yeah, Isis is like the queen of keeping distance. Yeah, that helps. All right, she stunned me out of that. Oh, I wasn't able to use my my Aegis. Oh, I thought I was, I was gonna stun her out of that, dash away, then use my Aegis, but oh well, I guess she wasn't in range. Uh, this is not going well at all. I can't really do anything because she's keeping she, she's the gem, you know. I don't really, I don't really want to do full gameplays that often on gods I'm not great at, just because I don't feel like they're much use. And Artie is one of my gods that are not great use, but I figure having at least one video on her won't be that bad. I used to be so much better with her, but. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. There we go. There we go. I wanted to make sure to save my two to cancel out her wing gust. I definitely should have gotten my wing gust right away. I mean, my wing gust, my stun right away. But you got to remember that only works when I'm right next to her. And that's I'm not going to be right next to her very often. Also, very important thing, uh, use auto attacks in between your abilities. You probably notice I'm using auto attacks between abilities for clearing wave as well as when I'm right next to her. And it, it adds a lot of damage. At the end of a fight, it adds a lot of damage. So we could go double... We go... Oh, let's actually get a Divine Rune first. I was thinking double defense, but nah. Um, Blink might be good. I like Blink against uh, Isis because then I could... When she uses her Spirit Bomb, I can Blink over it. And then she, not only is her two down for a long time, but I'm right in her face already. And she can't. She only has one ability to get me off. And it doesn't work very well when I'm right next to her. Yeah. Uh. If she hit that, I would have been in trouble. That play so easy to hit, man. Wow, she did. Hmm. That's really difficult to deal with. That's very difficult to deal with that wing blade. Oh, she went around? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, she doesn't have any defense, but I can't do anything because of that gem of ISO. Part of me wanted sprint, but it's like, no. Sprint is only up every... Let's even the cooldown of sprint. Is it not called sprint? Oh, it's called Heavenly Wings. What? When did they name it Heavenly Wings? Whatever. 140 seconds. Sprint has been... Heavenly Wings have been nerfed so much. Here, maybe we'll do it with it here. Oh, never mind. She hit me with the basic. She hit me with the basic again. Stop it. Wow, that's really annoying. I can't get near her. I can't use my blink until she uses her three or two. But she knows. Which is really annoying. Your middle phoenix is under attack. You aren't going anywhere. She's waiting for me to use my three. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is good. This is good. This is very good fight. Very good fight. Very good fight. Make sure to use, keep using my abilities. Very good fight. Man, I'm trying. I'm trying, you guys. Like I said, I don't know Ardio extremely well, but I I can play her. I can play her, but I can't play her to my best extent yet now. So I'll probably do a video. Yeah, I'll upload this video, right? Then maybe a couple months from now, I'll upload another video, a full gameplay for Ardio. I have no idea. There's a lot of guys I haven't played that I need to play. That was good. So if I were to redo this match, right? I would have started one, three. I would have started one, two, three, and just tried to stick to her at the game of the game. That probably would have been a lot better. Also, oh, also, uh, this video is going up the same day. So today, right now, is Friday, right? But it's going up Saturday. It, I'm going to be doing my 24-hour stream when this video goes up. So if you are watching this video within the first 24 hours. You will see me streaming. Oh, I wasn't close enough. That's really bad. I really tried to be close enough. Let's see. Blink.
Got her. That was close. I got her uh, ultimate too, which is very good. That was pretty close. The Bancroft is doing work. Once I get anti heal, it would be really nice too. Can I take... I can't take Phoenix off this, but I can do like half its health. Like I said, if you don't get Paul, you're not going to take objectives. Like it's just not going to happen with RDO. Let's see how much damage we do here. Like most hunters would be able to take the Phoenix here, but I'm not a hunter, I'm RDO. So, gotta get... Oops, wrong sense. Gotta get Paul and Omicron. Probably after a Divine Ruin. And then we could go for double defense. Um, something I tested with a little bit, but not like crazy, is actually Demonic Grip on RDO. And you don't go audio, auto attack with it. It's mainly just for the pen. And the reason I thought it would be good is because it stacks with her passive. Every time she hits an ability, it reduces her protections by 2%, right? Well, Demonic Grip reduced it by 12%. So with a fully stacked RDO passive and fully stacked Demonic Grip, that is all, so much penetration. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's works, it works against tanky targets. So if you're up against a warrior, go Spirit of the Magus plus Demonic Grip. Doesn't matter how many protections they could have. They could have like quad defense and you will shred them, I promise. Well, as long as the rest of your build isn't horrible. <laughs> as long as you still have some base damage. Oh, I walked straight into that one. Um, yeah, but her passive stacks eight times. So that's 16% if, you, if you're just spamming abilities. You know? And that's, that's, that's just pretty good. Plus Demonic Grip, I think, is 36. So that would be, that'd be a lot of protections. Gone. Yeah, I'm hoping I can go for as long as I can for, for 24 hour stream. I promise 12 hours and then as long as I can go without myself dying. <laughs> but it is for the 25K YouTube subs. I'm very happy about that. I've been trying to upload every single day. I think this is going to be day seven of me uploading, doing daily uploads. And it feels very unusual to me because I used to only upload like twice a month. So uploading every single day has been both a challenge, but I'm also feel very proud. So it, it's it's motivating more me more to upload more videos, which is very nice. And like I can just see in the statistics already that uploading consistency consistently really does drive more viewer base, which is awesome. All right, she has 20% cooldown. That's good. Um, the hardest thing to fight about Isis is if she, Isis goes double defense with full cooldown. That's the hardest thing to fight. And she's not going full, full cooldown. And she's not going double defense. So that's why we're doing pretty good. I guess I didn't really need Spirit. Why did I buy Spirit of the Mages? I meant to, uh, You know, sometimes I go into autopilot. I meant to buy Divine Ruin. I meant to buy Divine Ruin. It's not that bad, though. I still have tons of damage. Hope oh, we got her. Oh, Titan. <gasps> the Titan. Oh, the Titan got up and he said, Nah, it ain't, it ain't worth it. All right. All right, Titan. Thank you. Now we're going to get Divine Rune. Yeah, so... I've, I've talked about this on stream too, but when I, whenever I am recording a video with commentary or I'm streaming, I don't play to the best of my ability. I make little mistakes. And let, one of the mistakes I made was buying Spear of the Mages instead of Divine Rune. Now, the mistake was not leveling up my two right away. And it's because I'm both bad, but it's also because I just have never really been good with multitasking. I've definitely gotten better at it. But whenever I'm trying to record clips for montages and stuff, I try not to stream. I try not to commentate. I try to just play the game. And that's usually when I get my best plays. But I don't. I haven't had any time to really do that. And that's why the Fafter montage is taking forever. I don't have any plays I'm like crazy proud of. Right? She didn't pop it because I popped my Aegis. Isn't that really annoying? That is so annoying. I just can't stay on her. I don't know why she's not building defense, by the way. Um, it's actually the only reason that this game is even closed. If she got double defense, I probably wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, for the simple reason that she would heal up too much. And just keep me out of range. And just I would just be taking all my health. 
But the fact that she doesn't have double defense is one reason I'm winning this. That she doesn't have any defense. Or I'm not winning this, but I'm still in this game. I'm only 200 gold behind. So don't don't let it fool you that this game looks close. Um, yeah. All right, we're full build. I just need power potion and a buff. She got bull demon, but I'm not too scared that she's going to take it. Like, she doesn't have that much uh damage plus since she doesn't have defense i can really just punish her um the only way she's going to take my phoenix here is if she kills me and i mean it didn't really matter whether she had bull demon or not if she killed me uh she was gonna get my phoenix whether bull demon was down or not i think she got it more so that i couldn't get it oh she missed very good That jump off ISO, man. That hurts so much. A nice blink here could be great. Oh, well, that wasn't close enough. I thought she was way closer, but I guess not. Time to rid you of that magic. I can't move, man. I can't really... Oh, thank God she missed that. I, I can't move with the gem of ISO at all. So and it's really hard to keep Divine Rune procced on her because most of my abilities are melee range. There we go. That's really good. The only reason we can do that is because she doesn't have defense. I should actually tank this for my minions. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Alright, good. I actually have more power here because I took that extra damage. Use those poly shots. Very good. Alright. If she gets defense, um, now that Phoenix is down, if she gets defense, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> if she gets defense now, we'll actually be okay. We'll be okay. It's mainly for getting the Phoenix. I could actually sell my poly now for like double defense, maybe, um, or something like that, because I don't really need my poly as much. I mainly needed it for the Phoenix, but right now, until she gets defense at all, I'm getting, I'm keeping it. The funny way to counter uh, no defense, by the way, is double defense. Double defense here would destroy her, but because she only has flat pen, and then without that d damage, the only difference is that I'm tankier. I'm tankier. We would both have about the same amount of damage, except I'm tankier. The shadows. Oh, this is good. Don't get hit by that. Oh, good. Wow, that's really long. That is a really, really long silence. And that is a very difficult fight. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. If she chases us here, maybe I can get minions to, uh... Maybe I can get minions to end. I can maybe try to distract her and get minions to end. That'd be really good. Oh, shoot. I'm just trying to get minions to end. Oh, I was like, Even the mic. I didn't want to get too far from her. So I was playing that kind of dumb on purpose because I wanted her to chase me as long as possible. I got about half her Titan's health off that. That was not worth it just because I died a little bit too early. But let's say I kept juking for 10 seconds or so. Her Titan would have been at like little to no health. And I kind of had it up, up. I had it under control until I got hit here by the spirit, spirit bomb that that meant that uh, since I don't have beads, which is pretty good against Isis, um, I was guaranteed to get hit by the silence. I would be take all of her damage. Then, of course, I was low health. And here I had nowhere to run. Like, I could have tried to juke it, but all it would have done is just put me in range of her, her, uh, of her, her one, not, to the Wingus. Man, these names are so weird. So, once I got hit by the spirit bomb here, I was basically dead. There wasn't much way, many ways out, I guess. I guess by going this way, I, maybe. I, my goal was to distract her as long as possible. Alright, by the way, she put a sentry ward here. We also need to take this Phoenix to second in spawns. Very important that we do so.
Wait, did I not take the Phoenix? Oh lord. Are you serious? I thought I hit it with the poly shot. So I was like, all right, change focus to her. And the Phoenix was still alive. I must, maybe I hit her and I don't know. I'll look back at the footage. I'm also pretty tired right now. And I don't know. I'm not playing my best. I'm, I'm actually getting kind of frustrated at all the little things that I'm doing that I could be playing better. Like here, I could have juked that spirit bomb. Here, I could have probably juked it and bought a little bit more time. Over here, i taken the Phoenix. I might have still died for it, but still, like, I just guaranteed my death by not killing it as fast. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. Like, I'm actually getting frustrated that I'm making all these little mistakes. Like, I always make some mistakes because when I'm commentating, but this is beyond normal. She has red buff right now, which really sucks. I should probably get double defense. I could sell something for it. Maybe I don't. I don't really need my uh, spirit ma matches for the simple reason that she doesn't have any defense. But of course, when she uses her three, she steals my defense. So she has a lot of cooldowns. Yeah, fighting ice is very difficult as a guardian. I'm, I'm really surprised that we we're able to get this far. Ending's gonna be very difficult. Just because I can't get in within range of the titan without taking more than half my health and then i'm dead because of the gem vice so you know you aren't going anywhere. Twice. yeah like this we literally can't do anything man If I can keep her from backing, I'll slowly win. Oh, we got her before she could pop the ult. Very nice. Okay, guys, that's game. Um, I do want to say that she didn't build defense, although she should have. Um, this is a PSA, by the way. That is, I don't consider it scummy to build defense against a guardian. Like that's just playing the game. So it's okay to build defense. It's even okay to build double defense. I'll sometimes complain about it, but it's not scummy, like at all. And uh, so if you're up against the guardian, feel for, like you, sometimes you gotta build defense. Otherwise, the matchup goes to the guardian when it really shouldn't have. And I, I feel like it's kind of, I feel like that's too much. Like I, I don't think I earned this win so much just because, just because uh, by building defense she could have taken it. You know. Uh, but either way, we we did all right. I'm actually I'm pretty disappointed in some of the plays I made, man. Like uh, I really, really threw a couple of times, and that was kind of scary. Um. Yeah, but some if you're up against a tank as a RDO, uh, Spear of the Magus works well with her passive, even in demonic grip. If you get both of them, it sounds silly. You're not going auto attack RDO, by the way. You're just weaving auto attacks in between for the pen. It does wonders it really does and you can really stick to them um but against isis as any gardens usually it's really difficult just because uh she can keep her distance very well and even with double defense she'll have extremely high base damage and the low cooldowns just it makes it impossible sometimes but gg and if you guys want to watch me do a 24 hour stream just go there now all right see you guys